This is Winnie the Pooh. Teaches me how to be a better person and to uh, really not stress out about life. This right here. Hey, Eeyore. Oh, bother. <laughs> Hey, what is going on YouTube? Now, this is a video topic that everybody wanted me to get into, but I couldn't because I was out on vacation, which is why I look like roasted pork right now. They call me lechon, so don't forget to have this sauce with the vinegar with it. If college don't work for you, RJ, you can pop lock and dance your way to a future. <laughs> well, guys, this video has been circling. Circulating, you idiot! That's not a word. Guys, this video has been circulating around the internet, and a comedian named Shane Gillis was canceled and removed from SNL because he used a racial slur, specifically against my peoples. Full fucking China. Dude. Yeah. Fucking Chinese down there. I wonder how that started. They just built one fucked up looking building, and people were like, all right, no one said anything. Let the fucking chinks live there, huh? <laughs> Well, they built these fucking, like, huge Shanghai house. The first one must yeah. have infuriated everyone. They I'm, like, been, I'm pissed what now. The I go fuck? down there, I'm like, what are you guys doing here? Let's get these ducks out of that window. I, you know what? The man casually just slipped in this word chink, and they were having this whole diatribe and conversation about, you know, Chinese food is dishonesty, what they thought about Chinese, all this other stuff and that. And, you know, I think people have been asking me, wh what do I think about, number one, what they were talking about? And number two, should they be canceled? Okay, well, let's talk about cancel culture for a second because number one, I'm not too hot on cancel culture because I feel like specifically when it comes to creating content, a lot of people are just looking to take down somebody for anything that they said in the past. And specifically when it comes to humor, a lot of that stuff can get misconstrued. Now, having said that, watching this video clip, I don't think there's anything to be misconstrued. The way he casually just used the word chink is probably where people really got pissed off because his stance on this after he put out a public statement was he's a comedian that likes to take risks and if anybody was offended by this, he's sorry. Number one, that's not really apology. Number two, what the fuck do you mean risk? The problem is for me anyways, the risk that you thought you were taking, it wasn't really a risk. It was just you use the word chink because for some fucking reason, and I believe that a lot of Asian people can agree with this, is that when it comes to Asian racial slurs, people think that it's nothing. Like you could just say it however the fuck you want. You say that you're a comedian that likes to push boundaries, right? But what fucking boundary were you pushing? Where's the punchline is what I'm saying. As a comic to another comic, where is the fucking punchline, my guy? That was the problem that people had. There was no punchline. You said the word, so fucking casually and you said it like it was fucking nothing. I'll give you a great fucking example, by the way, just so people don't think I'm a hypocrite. Dave Chappelle, on his last special, did a racist Asian joke. He goes, hey guys, I'm Chinese. <laughs> it was the most old fashioned way to do a racist Asian joke, but the punchline wasn't about Asian people. He was talking about how ridiculous something can be, right? So there's a punchline to that joke. Whether I was offended by that joke or not, I understood the joke, the setup and the punchline. And to me, that's why it was funny. There was no setup or fucking joke. So what boundary are you pushing? So what you're saying really doesn't fucking make sense. Down neuters. I hate China. I hate the food at Chinatown. It sucks. I like Chinese food's a very dishonest cuisine. I don't even want to think about it. They invented a fucking chemical to put in their food to make it delicious, dude. It, well, it is. They made as MSG. Good for them. It's a dishonest food, dude. There's it's nothing. There's nothing to it. It's, it's shitty very meat. Honorable. Shitty meat. A chemical they made up to fuck your body up, and. <laughs> Noodles, noodles. He said Chinese food is the most dishonest food out there. Might be a little true. However, you can. And first of all, you're a fucking white boy. You don't ever get to talk about the conversation when it comes to food and flavor, bitch. Your people just figured out what salt is. You want to talk about dishonest fucking food? You s you eat hot dogs. Shut the fuck up. Asian people ain't dishonest with the food. We just fucking eat everything. What are you talking about? I don't know how you say Chinese food is dishonest when you're the one who's fucking eating it the most, you little bitch boy. Just to show you how much you really don't know about food, and this is the reason why your comedy is not funny, MSG is not a made-up fucking chemical. It's a naturally occurring thing, you fucking fuckface. And on top of that, too, MSG isn't bad for you, so suck my fucking nuts. It was a podcast. It was regular conversation. Not to say that podcasts can't have comedy and there, there aren't jokes in it, but the 
way that you were talking about the whole neuters thing, which, by the way, old fucking joke. And number two, my God, dude, it sounded like you were disgusted with, like, Chinese culture. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Bitch, how you gonna talk shit about Asian people when you dress like you work at one of our factories? You Panda Express eating fuckboy. Asian food is so fucking good, you're still not done appropriating it. Talking about dishonest food. Bitch, you eat saltine crackers and Lunchables for lunch. Like, that's a fucking meal. Get the fuck fuck out of here looking like you just escaped michael jackson's basement you macaulay fuckboy bitch and there's a fucking yeah and it's it's full fucking chinese in there it's like and it's such well, isn't, a it, isn't that kind of like nice though isn't that being like when people go into like a mexican restaurant like i'll have two tacos like uh i'll have a bowl of spicy neuters <laughs> But we had it in the translation between you and- And I know you can say this too. Yo, Chinese people make fun of Chinese people all the time. Everybody knows this shit. We could joke about these inside stuff because it's inside jokes. It's personal to us. People understand where it comes from. That's why it's funny. You're an outsider saying an outside perspective on stuff that you don't fucking know about. How are you gonna talk about other people's cultures and the way they fucking conduct themselves when you look like you fuck your stepmom? Looking like you work for Asian people, you fucking low ladder step boy. Shut the fuck up. If you don't like the food, don't go to the spots then, homie. Go back to your casserole. Go back to your broccoli and cheese and then boil your chicken breast with, uh, I don't know, Mrs. Dash, you fucking bland fuck. But just to go back to him talking about comedy and pushing boundaries and that he's a comic, he's very funny. Um, if you were really pushing boundaries and you wanted to use a racial slur, I would really, 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 really love for you to use the N-word in that same statement with a hard R. Here's the thing. I would bet my fucking money on it that you would have never ever said that on your podcast. You know why? Because you understand how harmful and hateful that fucking word is. You understand the type of public backlash you would get from using that word. But because it's Asian people using the word chink, even though it's a racial slur, Asian people aren't gonna say or do anything about it. And you were fucking wrong. You were dead fucking wrong. You were dead career wrong. <laughs> and that's that's kind of what Asian people have to deal with a lot, right? Is that we get pushed to the side. When people say these racial slurs, they kind of say, oh, it's not as bad as saying it is. It, it, it totally fucking is. Looking like you three years old and 40 at the same time, bitch ass motherfucker. Whether he kept his job on SNL or not, I really don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. As a comic, people say offensive shit all the time and they still get to perform. So if he's a great comedian, he's fucking funny. Whether he's on SNL or not, his stand-up comedy career should still skyrocket and still should do well, right? That's my thoughts on that shit. Talking about Chinese food and neuters, you stupid fuck. Motherfucker. Talking about MSG. It's not called MSG, dude. It's just called seasoning. Stupid bland bitch. See you guys next time. Hey, what is going on, YouTube? I hope you enjoyed that video right off the fucking cuff, unwritten, just straight to the point. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, write in the comments below. Stay interactive, like and thumbs up, and share this video because it's culturally important, motherfucker. But as you guys know, I do have a Patreon, and you can tell I curse up a storm, so this video is probably not gonna make much money at all. But if you wanna continue watching these videos and you want me to continue to make this stuff, I have a Patreon that you can guys can donate to if you like it if you can't just come back to this channel and like and share and i gotta say guys patreon content is up yeah baby came out and he fed all the fish in the ocean but because of this man we got to see a cute little turtle <laughs> i know what you mean this motherfucker's crazy dude get an a. Yeah, this one right here is not going into the water because she's so scared she's up here always acting like she's super tough but now she's just 